Oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? A completely new DLC for Far Cry 4. Yay! And this time it doesn't suck, if you know what I mean. If you have played the last DLC, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But maybe you disagree. So this DLC is $15. The last one was $5. Why? Because this is an actual campaign. This is a completely new world, a completely new story, and hours and hours of fun gameplay. Probably Probably not 80 hours like I spent in the in the actual main game, but I could imagine that you can easily play 10, 20 hours on this one. I may be wrong. I don't know. It probably depends on how fast you go through this. And speaking of, I wanted to do actually originally a walkthrough of this DLC because uh, you know I didn't do a walkthrough of the That's main game, and I don't guy. do a lot of walkthroughs. But I thought, hey, you know, DLC is not so long. I can do a walkthrough, and it's fun. You know, for people maybe to see, then I thought, nah, so many people already probably done walkthrough of this. And also, I'm someone who likes to play uh, campaigns like at a slow way. I like to inspect every nook and cranny. I try to find every little loot crate. Uh, you know, just enjoy the environment, the scenery, the sounds, and that would be super boring for anyone to watch because it would take forever and ever for me to finish this. So I thought, hey, you know, I could speed through this game just to please the viewers, or I can actually enjoy this DLC for myself and have fun and maybe just do a little bit of a recap of this or well, maybe not a recap of maybe like first impressions because I'm only I don't know how far I'm through this game hopefully not even a quarter because I hope this takes a little while to finish and um, so what this campaign really is all about is that you again play a survivor but this time you crash with a helicopter on a mountain and you don't have any weapons, you don't have anything, you don't really know exactly where you are, but you have connections with someone who's kind of basically telling you what to do next. And so there are, there is actually a real story. And while there are familiar things in this DLC, like you have to, you know, take over camps and villages and you know, that you have the choice on how to do that, if you want to do it silently, if there are alarms, like you're familiar with, you know, you don't want them to sound the alarm if possible because then there's reinforcements coming. So while this is all familiar, uh, there are new things in, in this DLC um, that you may not have seen before and that makes this interesting besides that the world is, is kind of fun to see. It's, see Far Cry all snowed over like this and you know so maybe you just think they just took the actual old maps and just covered it with snow but there are definitely new completely new built maps you can see because you know if you've played the uh, actual main game a lot you would recognize the streets and valleys you know having played hours and hours and hours of it but you actually realize that those are definitely new places and yes you have caves again and pickups and stuff like that but i think there's going to be new weapons and you definitely have also one advantage that you are starting with a wingsuit right a bit pretty much almost from the beginning so that's pretty fun if you're someone who likes to use the wingsuit and you have actually access to weapons pretty soon which is fun too but i really don't want to spoil too much here try not to do it so that you get too uh, too many spoilers here or actually any spoilers if possible so what we have here now too what's new is you have those like night missions yeah. where you have your camp and your safe house and people are trying to take that away from you by sabotaging it or trying to sabotage it at night so they attack you at night and they try to plant bombs as uh, two different locations that you quickly learn where they are and you basically have to just make sure that they cannot plant the bomb so instead of just taking out the enemies your main focus should be on the, the guys that are planting the bombs and as you can see here I already have grenades and I have views or ways to defend myself so this is not frustrating this is actually a lot of fun and there are every night seems to be a little harder and there's more waves and every wave is more challenging 
But I've had a lot of fun playing those night missions and I'm sure you will too. And here you can see, you can actually, that's totally new too, uh, buy uh, things that you can defend yourself with like fortifications, minefields and traps, lots of traps and guns and stuff like that. And that's definitely new and I can't wait to try this out and see how effective that actually is. And then here we have the so-called monster that the natives are talking about, you hear them talk about, and you see only a little quick glimpse here of him. And, you know, while sometimes yetis are, uh, you know, perceived as cute, this guy is definitely scary, and you will also see the kind of damage he can do, so you don't want to cross him if possible. And then we have the jet skis here, totally new vehicle in Far Cry 4. A lot of fun and for us Battlefield gamers, totally familiar. And for me, definitely the vehicle of choice in this campaign as it's the fastest and easiest way to get around if you're on the ground. So would I recommend this DLC? Well, it depends. If you did enjoy Far Cry 4 a lot, you, that's a definite must and I will say it's money well spent. If you haven't uh, enjoyed Far Cry 4 that much then maybe not. But if you want to try, give it another try and maybe just you know try something new or you don't have anything else to play right now then again I would highly recommend it because you do get hours and hours of gameplay out of this and you can actually play this with a friend if you want to. But as you know me, I do enjoy playing single players alone because I just feel it's more satisfying, it's more immersive, it's more enjoyable, but you know, everyone their own. So I hope this was helpful to you and you have enjoyed this little impression video and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.